When your stash is low, when your cash ain't full, when you need to max out your arsenal, it's time for Goodwill Hunting. Oh, what a long, strange journey it has been. Now, I had no idea I was going to take this journey, but here we are anyway. It is April 2023, and I'm about to go over the blasters I was able to thrift in March of 2023 as well as reach 1,000 thrifted blasters since I started doing my thrifting, uh, taking it a little more seriously, serious enough to make videos, seriously enough to make spreadsheets, and track everything that I have accumulated up until now. So with that, when we go through this, I am going to count up from 984, starting with through all these blasters and we'll see which exact blaster becomes my 1000th one. Let's just jump in and take a look at the graphs of course. Month to month March, a great month. Uh, I calculated my BPM which in this case is blasters per month uh, and since I started thrifting in June of 2022 when I kind of jumped back into the game uh, I have a BPM of about 20 and this month uh, was 26 blasters total, so a, a fair amount above average. And then here, if we look at the uh, March comparison graph, the graphs when I check out previous months do seem to be fluctuating year to year pretty drastically. And I kind of had to go back and look at my 2018 March video, because boom, look at that massive bar graph. But there was nothing spectacular from what I can tell. It was just a great month coupled with the fact that back then uh, I was way more into grabbing like common stuff. Whereas now I'll leave your Mavericks and your Rough Cuts and your Strong Arms and whatnot. All, the, all those sorts of things uh, on the shelf instead of grabbing them. Because I don't plan on stopping thrifting again. Maybe another hiatus here and there. but And I have a limited amount of space. So... I gotta kinda keep track of the quality in some way. I can't just get too crazy. All right, with that said, I am gonna test these blasters. First off, just real quick, a few magazines I grabbed. Really been loving this little white magazine from some of the blasters that has come out pretty recently. Um, this one, I actually purchased just by itself. Saw it, I think it was 50 cents. So yeah, I walked up to the cash register and handed them 60 something cents for this little guy. Snagged, of course, I will almost never leave a 35 round drum if I can help it, and then the orange face 25 round drum. Okay, 985. Uncommon, we got the purple colored strong arm. That works wonderfully. 986 and 987, a couple four victories. Number 988, a Duminator. That works, and part of the reason that March and April uh, turned out to be excellent was because I drove down to California to visit my girlfriend's family for a few weeks. Uh, and on the way, of course, you got to do a little mini thrift road trip. Uh, nothing too great, but I got to stop by the Seattle Goodwill. So that's always going to create sort of an embarrassment of riches when it comes to the Nerf thrift. Now the Duminator I was kind of proud of because oftentimes they do not come with this little handle. Keep in mind the Seattle Goodwill is enormous and I wasn't looking for this but all the way across the way buried in some other blasters I managed to find the little screw in handle for this Duminator or perhaps another Duminator. Anyway very excited to snag this little piece of plastic buried amongst the rest of the Nerf treasures in there. 989, the knockout. The red variety. 990, hammer shot. 991 and 992, we got two vagabonds. 993, tri break. 994, the green zombie strike rough cut. 995, a megalodon. 996, we got a good old hyperfire with the drum. 997, an Artemis, a blue one. 998, we got the classic Alpha Trooper. Number 999, a new one, one I've never seen before, so I was happy to grab, calling it a rare. But it is the Nerf Rival Vision, I think. Number 
Okay. Need to learn how to prime this, apparently. Nope. There we go. $9.99, The Vision. Now, blaster number 1,000. I think as far as fun factor goes, it's one of the, the most fun. Although that fun is pretty limited because the firing rate is so absurd. Now, last month I think I got one of these, but it failed you. I failed you. I failed myself and everyone by firing it and not completely unloading the clip here. So, I'm really praying that blaster number 1000 can follow through and we can completely unload this thing. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh, with some air to spare. All right, blaster number 1000. Here's to 1000 blasters, the end of a journey, and to the beginning of the next journey. 1000 more, and that starts now. Rare because I haven't seen it. I don't think I've ever seen this thrifting. I think I bought one initially uh, new when it came out. Then, I haven't seen one of these little guys in a while. One of my favorite dark tag blasters. Like the shape, like the feel. Does not function amazingly, but hey. Then, one of my all-time favorite shapes for Rebel blasters. Uh, I almost wish that the gimmick didn't exist. I just love the profile of this blaster and kind of how you hold it. Sort of like an old pistol you might have a duel with. Then because they are big and beautiful, we got a Raptor Strike. Now this. I don't know if this is rare. Uh, stockade. I see very few of these. I think I have three. This might be my fourth one in all time. But Rare normally, but in America... I don't think I've seen this, and I went on eBay and tried to find one, couldn't. None of the ones that I have are like this. They are all orange trigger. So somehow, maybe there was a release of these in America, I'm not sure, but we've got the gray trigger, which back in these days was indicative of a lower performance, I believe, by design, uh, and that blasters that were sold in Australia that has much stricter uh, gun laws. We've got the Gray Trigger Barricade. Very interesting, unique find, uh, I, I believe. Uh, if anyone out there has any more information about this being released in the U.S., or you have one of these that has the Gray Trigger in particular, and you live in the U.S., please comment down in the comment section. I am very curious uh, where exactly this came from and how rare it might be. Now, one thing I did learn when searching for this on eBay was that you do not drop or forget to put in the nerf before you type in stockade because if you just type in stockade you're going to come up with results like this. Now last of the rares. I think I redeemed myself with the end strike mag strike fully unloading but we're gonna try it again. We're gonna pump up this rapid fire 20 fully load it and see if we can get all of the darts out of it. I can feel it trying to come apart in my arm. Now, because I base my self-worth completely on the performance of my blasters that I thrift, I'm going to be really depressed if this doesn't work out for the rest of the day. Commence depression. Now to cheer myself up, we've got the epics left. A little self-medication here with the Infinis. Because it's got such a fun gimmick, I had to throw batteries into it. So let's see if it works. We got the green light, which is a good sign. Feed a couple in through the back. Now, I kind of can't believe they haven't done anything like this again. Well, it seems like the feeding mechanism works. However, the blaster does not rev up. I will have to do some investigating on this. Next up for the epics, we got this thick, chunky boy. It's a judge. I've seen these before in the past, but they were always like 20 plus bucks, so I was never willing to pack, pick one up. But this one, just 11. Uh, and since prices are creeping up anyway, uh, that felt fairly low, low enough to grab this big ginormous blaster. 
Firing three shots at the same time is pretty fun, even though this is extremely impractical. Now, here is a great epic. Uh, I have plenty of AirTech 3000s and 2000s, but this is the first 4000 I've ever seen thrifting with its Liquitron power gauge. Pretty positive this isn't going to fire with uh, any of the dirts I have available. So I'll just maybe pump it up a little bit. Seems like it's holding. Seems like it holds air. I'm gonna look great with the rest of my AirTech and Air Power Blaster collection. Now, last but not least, uh, I actually found one of these a few years ago, but I thought it was a Barbarian. Or is it a Berserker? Or is it, I thought I found one of these, but it didn't have the same sticker. It was the same shape of the blaster, but the sticker was different. These many years later, I have now acquired the Maniac. Second to last of this particular uh, blaster, there were so many releases of this sort of similar shape and design and name. It has a collection unto itself. I am still missing the white released variety of this, which I never plan on getting because I'm pretty sure that's outrageously rare, but never say never, I suppose. We got the Maniac. We're gonna try to pump it up, see if we can fire off a missile. Ooh, that works wonderfully. These truly were the golden years of Busby, I would say. So, I am extremely happy to finally have not just the Barbarians, Berserker, but the Maniac final. And that is it! A thousand Nerf Blasters! I made it, and so in the next few months, I still have some arranging and some cleaning to do, but uh, I will make a Nerf Arsenal video. Uh, I have, I would say, at least 90, 90%, 95% of that thousand blasters displayed in some way or another. So, I will have to do an Arsenal video eventually. But, until next time, guys, you can be serious about Nerf, but don't take Nerf too seriously.